What's up everybody, I'm Sydney Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, Quantic Dream Games are now for everyone! A possible SNES controller for Switch and Biomutant Special Editions announced. Roll thing! Quantic Dream Studio is going full multi-platform. The founder and head of the studio, David Cage, shared the announcement with DualShockers. The studio is known for producing PlayStation exclusives like Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and Detroit Become Human. Those games are finally coming to PC this year. But now, Cage says it's time to expand to other platforms. So now players of all stripes can experience the fun of a Quantic Games interactive story. Things like blaming yourself for the death of your son, or questioning what it means to be human. You know, you love to see it. Except for some occasional exclusives, all Quantic Dream games going forward will be launched on multiple platforms. So what changed? A new investor recently bought a minority stake in the studio, giving it the cash it needs to self-publish and port existing games to PC. As cloud gaming and more advanced consoles begin to take over, this is just another sign of the times. A wireless Super Nintendo controller could be coming to the Nintendo Switch in the near future. That's according to a recent FCC filing discovered by Reset Era user Link83. The filing contains only one image of the back of the controller, but it's obviously a classic Super Nintendo shape. The Switch already has a wireless NES controller and games thanks to Nintendo Switch Online, so this seems like the next step. The not that mysterious mystery controller has a model number that follows the patterns of other Switch hardware, like the NES controllers and the Switch itself. But there aren't any direct references to the Switch in the filing, and the controller is just called a wireless game device, but come on. Not to be a dick, but the NES offerings for Nintendo Switch Online are starting to lose steam with most of the bigger titles already out, and games the average player might not have heard of, like Vice Project Doom just announced. Now is the perfect time to add some SNES classics like Chrono Trigger and Secret of Mana to the Switch. THQ Nordic announced the Collector's Edition and Atomic Edition of Biomutant. It's a little unexpected since there's still not a whole lot of information about the game out there, but it's been described as a post-apocalyptic kung fu fable, so it's got my attention. The Atomic Edition will cost $399.99 and comes with assorted goodies like a diorama, oversized mouse pad, large, extra large t-shirt, and steelbook. The Collector's Edition goes for $119.99, containing a figurine of the game's very own Rocket Raccoon protagonist, and similar but fewer items as the Atomic Edition. Either way, you're getting the game, an art print, the soundtrack, and whatever a premium box is. When IGN played the demo at Gamescom 2018, at one point the rodent hero fought a boss by going inside its body and beating up its heart. Now that's innovation. Biomutant comes out December 31st for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And that's your Daily Fix for August 13th. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, watch these grandmas break down your favorite game trailers. I'm in it, so please watch. Definitely download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.